What up nerds, it's uh, Jason here from Custom Cans and today we're going to be talking about headphone burning and whether it's a thing or not. I feel that it's a thing, but I get a lot of comments and stuff saying, no, it's all stuff and nonsense, like burning is not a thing. It's all lies. Um, so today we're going to we're gonna set this to rest, we're going to see. And uh, I'm perfectly willing to be wrong and say it's all placebo, but uh, it'd just be really interesting to see if burning is a thing. Just in case you don't know, burning is basically, the theory behind it is that when you first get a pair of headphones, they need, you know, a couple of days of use before they sound their best. And the nonsense camp say, that's just to stop you from sending them back straight away. So, you know, you have to live with them for a couple of days and your, your ears kind of get used to the sound and you notice more things. And it's more about kind of you getting used to the sound rather than the sound on the headphones changing. My theory is is maybe one of two things is going on. Because, uh, yeah, I, like I'm quite used to the Sennheiser HD25 and I'm pretty certain an old set of HD25 sounds better than a new a box fresh set of HD25s. Now that could be manufacturing differences, that kind of thing, but uh, there could be two things if it is a thing. Um, one, when you first get them, the diaphragm, the driver, the little bit that moves in and out, might be a little bit stiff. And with a little bit of use, that might loosen up a bit. So a bit like where you, when you first get a car and you have to run the engine carefully while all the parts wear together and then you can kind of up the revs and go at it a bit harder. So that might be something. So it might be the driver kind of loosening up. And that's what I've told people. But I don't, I don't know for certain. Uh, the other thing it might be is the pads degrading. So certainly changing ear pads changes the sound quite a lot. So if you start off with a very fluffy ear pad and that ear pad squishes down, the driver's going to get closer to your ear, the pad's going to get denser, it's going to affect the sound slightly. So I think that might be a thing for, you know, headphones that have had a year or so on them sounding better. It might just be that the pads have kind of broken down a bit and, uh, and reached that nice, uh, that, that nice state. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's see if we can kind of answer this question. I don't know what the results are going to be. So what I've got is a box fresh pair of Sennheiser HD25, which at the moment is a kind of underrated headphone. They sound really, really good for the money and uh, are indestructible. We sell loads of these to DJs, but um, I think just for walking around and listening out and about, great isolation, great sound. Anyway, it's not an advert for the HD25. I'm just saying, these deserve more love. So what we're going to do is get a box fresh pair of headphones. Sennheiser HD25 and this is a good candidate because we sell quite a lot of these and I often get people who get a new pair of them and say they don't sound as good as my old pair and I think that that's partially to do with the fact they need a little bit of burning if burning is a thing so if I do this video I can say with if it turns out burning is a thing I can say with more confidence yeah, give them a couple of days see how they sound uh, whereas if it doesn't do this I, I was wrong I'm gonna stop saying that you know we'll, we'll see it's, it's gonna be real interesting so I'm gonna try and keep this as scientific as possible and uh, the positioning on the ears of doom like changing the position can change the sound slightly so my plan is to take a box fresh pair of these stick them on said ears take a measurement so we get to see how the frequency response is fresh out the box then I'm gonna leave them just don't touch them uh, playing for like 24 hours, just playing music to try and loosen up the diaphragm, if that's a thing. Then, tomorrow, we will take another measurement without having moved them on the ears. So that gives us the best chance of getting a good A-B comparison to see if anything's changed. I'm really interested, I don't know, it's going to mean that I can't do anything with my desk for 24 hours, but I have to use one of the other desks. Um, but yes, so join me on this adventure. Before we commence, uh, what I'd like to do is pause the video, just go into the comments and tell me, do you think burning is going to be real or it's going to be not real? I don't know. Or are we going to be able to measure burning after 24 hours of use with a pair of HD25s? I suppose. You know, is it total nonsense? Put total nonsense in there. Is it like definitely true? Put definitely true in there. Let me know. I'm going to really, I'm going to go through the comments. We'll, we'll see who got it right, who got it wrong. Be really interesting to see. Um, all right, let's get these out of the box and get them tested. Okay, so we have our initial frequency response of a box fresh pair of HD25s. Have it there. I'm going to save that before I forget. And uh, and then we'll come back tomorrow and see whether anything's changed and whether burning is real or not. And I can finally put this thing to bed. Um, it'd be good. <laughs> it'd be good to find out for sure. Before tomorrow Jason comes back, you know, if you like this, you want to support this kind of thing, obviously a like and a subscribe would be nice. But if you actually fancy... Uh, chipping some money in. But we've got these really fancy storage straps. Basically, uh, we, we wanted to get some fancy cable straps made and we went over the top and got them over-engineered. <laughs> 
So we've got these on our website. Uh, they, they will make your cables look more sophisticated. You can hang up your headphones. But these will actually hold like 50 kilos. Well, they're rated at 50 kilos. I've hung off one though, and I weigh like 75. So they will hold a little bit over 50 kilos from that hook and eye. So you can hang your bike up, I don't know, detain prisoners. I think four of these, you could probably make a decent sex swing. I don't know. But they're about a fiver each, and every one of these that we sell, we'll put the money into the YouTube budget to do more fun projects. So uh, I'll stick a link in the description if you fancy a fancy strap and uh, helping us make some more videos. Uh, chip in a fiver. All right. See you tomorrow. Right, uh, it's tomorrow. Well, it's today, I suppose, but uh, it's the day after. And uh, these have been playing overnight. Just left it as it was. Left all the everything as it was. So you're wondering, after wasting 24 hours, uh, did we find out if burning is a real thing? Well, let's let's have a look. And uh, now then, uh, so as, as you know, we took an original reading, and these are just raw, just raw data straight off here. I've not got any compensation curves or anything like that. It's just raw data coming off there, just so we can compare A with B without too much dicking around. Um, so here is the original graph, and here is the graph after 24 hours. And uh, as you can see, they're pretty much the same. You know, the changes haven't been super noticeable, but I would say that certainly in the kind of 4K to 7K region, there's a there's a definite noticeable difference in the frequency response. And there's also a few little weird little wibbly lumps that have kind of sorted themselves out. But basically, it's almost exactly the same, but slightly different. Uh, <laughs> And if that's the best result we could possibly have, because that way I please slash anger everybody. Uh, if you believed in, uh, if you've always believed in burning, you can say, well, there you go. There's the proof that two graphs are slightly different. And if you don't believe in burning, you can say, ah, there's the proof. The two graphs are within margin of error. So I don't know. Uh, vaguely inconclusive, but uh, it was an interesting experiment. I didn't know. It could have been like radically different. And I, oh. Yeah, so uh, it's quite interesting. Let, let me know what you think. What do you think? Do you think burning's a thing? Is it a thing that you've noticed? Or could it all be nonsense? Could it just be our ears getting used to the sound or, or something like that? I, I don't know. Um, yeah, stick, stick your comments in the what's it below. But yeah, what, what I'll have to do is try the same experiment with some planar dynamic headphones because obviously they've got a very different kind of driver and possibly they're more susceptible to burning, that kind of thing. Unfortunately, we've sold out at the moment. Uh, our HE400 modded one's got featured in the video and they, they all sold out. Uh, so we don't have any planar magnetic headphones that are box fresh to try, because obviously we've got a few knocking around that have been used, but I want to try box fresh versus burnt in for a bit. But yeah, so we've got another delivery coming from China, so hopefully when they come in in a, in a few weeks time, we can we can try that then. And also, uh, you know, if you've got any tips for me doing my next one of these on the planers, stick them in the comments. Did I not leave it for long enough? Is 24 hours too short, do you think? Or, uh, you know, are there any slight setup changes that you'd like to see to make it more scientific or anything like that? Just uh, let me know. I, I can't promise I'll do it. We only have limited equipment and time. But uh, yeah, give it a go if, it's, if you've got any really good suggestions. And, and as I said, uh, if you fancy chipping in a fiver towards some more videos, buy a thingamabob with the link in the what's it's. Anyway, it's been uh, super awesome hanging out, and I'll see you guys again.